Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out an update for Windows 11 version 21H2, which is the original release, to insiders in the release preview channel with the update KB5027292. And because this update is now in release preview, um, this is the final stages of testing the update before Microsoft pushes it out to the stable version of Windows 11. And um, if we head to the calendar today, we are on the 16th. So we can expect that update to roll out, I would suggest, in the last week or the fourth week of this month, as Microsoft did previously announce, starting the 27th Tuesday. There's a good chance they may push it out um, um, next week, but I would suggest it would come uh, in that final week of the month. Now, just to go through a couple of the improvements and fixes, because this is the June bug fix update for Windows 11 21H2. Now, there are two small new improvements, and just to mention these, the update adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So that's basically more focusing at enterprises and corporations when it comes to um, Microsoft Defender. And the update improves several simplified Chinese fonts and the Microsoft Pinion Input Method Editor. So those are the two new so-called new improvements or features. And then because this is a bug fix update, just to go through a couple of the fixes, uh, if you would be interested, just to mention about four or five for the purpose of this video. Uh, the update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Intune push notifications. The issue stops devices that have less than 3.5 gigabytes of RAM from getting them. It also addresses an issue that affects the on-screen keyboard. Uh, the issue was causing the keyboard to stop from opening after you lock the machine. There's also an update that addresses an issue that affects narrator. And if we just quickly head over to our Windows tools and head to our task scheduler, this is a maintenance tool that's built into the legacy components of Windows 11 and also comes with Windows 10. Uh, the update addresses an issue that affects a scheduled monthly task. It might not run on, the on time if the next occurrence happens when daylight savings time occurs. So that's a bug fix for the task scheduler. And then just to mention the, the uh, last fix for the purpose of today's video, the update addresses an issue that affects the spooler service. So this is a printing issue. Uh, apparently the spooler service stopped working and the issue occurs when you print using a certain workspace. And those are just some of the little highlights um, I would suggest just to mention for the purpose of today's video. There are and numerous other fixes which are mainly taking place behind the hood and when the update does roll out it will bump the build up of the original release to build 22,000.2121 or somewhere in that point release vicinity. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.